Hey guys, Susanna here. Well, I finished my book, my journal. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I uh, thought I'd have this little mushroomy here because it is the flowers and um, flower fairies and mushrooms journal. Um, actually, I should get this out. It is almost four, it's four and three quarters inches by seven and a quarter and it's made from a vintage like quite old um, 1920s maybe even a little bit early earlier than that because it's got a very art deco feel about the book i put some of this uh, vintage sari silk on there it was in pretty good get nick but it had a little bit of a like gap here so i thought in order to make it stronger and i really quite like the look of that little raggedy Take a look about it and it matches the uh, the sari silk that's on there. I put in, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's got four um, book, oh, what are they called, those little edge things, they're quite nice. So I'll open, open it up, it's got two signatures. I'll move this little guy over there, yep, there we go. Now, I've got on in here just my little tag that I normally have and I'll put in a little message in there. And this is my Artsology design team project. So it's got a lot of our Artsology stuff in there. Tim Holtz paper doll with these little Tim Holtz wings and the Artsology uh, mushroom, I think they're mushroom journaling cards. And these are the tag. So it's got writing space in there. And this flips out and this comes out as well I'll leave that in there but it comes out um, that's the Artsology page and then I've tucked in a little extra fairy in there and there's a tag as well for journaling my eco dyed paper on the back of it hopefully that's okay and so that's me I thought I, I thought I'll put it at the front Tim Holtz paper just so gorgeous and then this is a, one of the little projects that I made from the using the three um, the three pockets from the one envelope so I've got another little angel in there and it fits a card in there and it is a card in the actual envelope but it also is tuck spot so you could probably put something on top of that as well and these are all the journaling cards from Artsology and this is from Artsology as well. Eco dyed paper that I got from Faye. Coffee dyed. Gorgeous um, shrub book. And then here's um, some collaging. I've got all that throughout. I put the collaging on the papers that you actually can't write on. I'll sort of make sure I don't overfill them. So because I want the journals to be able to be used. So plenty of try and keep plenty of journaling space. This is a Kazar craft paper Edith Holden fox gloves so pretty more coffee dyed paper some more of that beautiful shrub book another flower fairy for hyacin was it grape hyacin what's that other one that was um I can't remember it was so cute though just love it just fitted perfectly in there and another little tuck spot with another journaling card and that's um, I, I cut down the tags um, and made them into tuck spots because I wanted to utilize them and once again more little fairies hopefully you can see that from where you are paper and then the center on both of them is an Edith Holden with the mushrooms beautiful look at that just I love Edith Holden Another tuck spot, the fairy, and the little, little people. What are they called? Paper, paper dolls. And I love this gorgeous stuff. Collage of geranium fairy, isn't it beautiful? Quite big that one. That's from the the book. Some of them are from that the bigger books, and some of them from the from the smaller ones from these from these books. The other side of. Edith Holden 
this is my little cutter is leaving it a bit free but I actually don't mind that look beautiful the inside of that beautiful paper More collaging little guys so cute that's from a I think a fairy tale book that I had I, I'd used for another journal and that was little remnants left over and I put that there because it, its wings had been cut off <laughs> So I thought I'd tuck it in. More on the other side of that beautiful paper. And this is the end of the first signature, which has got that. And that's what I made the other day. With that um, fold out um, ephemera from the um, envelope. Oh, where is she? So that holds. I had one little angel, a little fairy left. So I thought I'd tuck her in there. So. You can tuck quite a bit in there and it's got a journaling card there you can journal here put her in there um, and you can also um, not, not, don't completely put them down you got a journaling card at the back as well and that this is using um, artsology paper this is the first so the next signature this is another the other one that i made from using the one big envelope to make three pockets i just love it it was so cute beautiful artsology paper and the tag as well and in here so i'll link the link uh, the um, artsology down below and that's from some of the collage paper as well and then so he looks so cute leaning up against it so there was another little tag i think i just glued that down um, I thought there was enough tuck spots. Didn't need an extra one. More of the eco guide. Some lovely papers. And then there's this, I think it's the, I don't know if it's primrose, I'm not sure, but it's so cute. It's quite shiny. And this is the third tag that I made from. And the reason why I put it in with this is because. Um, it's got nice paper on the back as well. It's got a little fairy in there and a tag that you can tag, write on. Oh. But you can also write on the back, so that's why it, it has been put in with one of these. Oh. Really happy at how this has turned out. It's so sweet. Can't go wrong. Mushrooms and fairies just go hand in hand, just like mushrooms and gnomes. Gorgeous, Edith Holden. Love the way that the paper's done that, like the coffee dyed paper. Beautiful, it's got a really nice texture to it. This is Poppy. Once again, that was the end of the page and the, her wings, so I thought I'd put a leaf there to cover the fact that the wings are being chopped off when you dot the picture. So pretty. That's our Artsolo Artsology papers. Another one of the I made into her tags, I made into a tuck spot and then put a um, journaling card in there. And another little fairy. Edith Holden, I love the writing in Edith Holden. It's the centre page again, toadstools. So beautiful. Plenty of writing space. And do your own thing i don't like to overfill my journals and i like the recipients to be able to do add their own thing without being too gapy that's artsology as well and then the smaller ones they're so cute they're just so sweet i just love them i was very tempted to put a little wing on the dog <laughs> um, but i didn't end up doing probably draw one in it's just so cute. That's the artsology tags, which I turned into a tuck spot. More of that beautiful paper from the shrub. And then I really love that one. That's a nod to my Dutch heritage. That was part of the poppy one and it just matched. And I cut out the poppy fairy. This had this leftover and I thought I'll tuck that in and just utilize it. And the vintage wallpaper in the back of the journal and then 
this was part of um, one of the papers from Tim Holtz and it had the, the fairy, well, the butterfly. So I stuck at one of the big ones because I've got all the, the, um, the paper dolls and they're quite, some of them are quite big. So I've got that in there. That's the tags that I used at the tuck spots. And then I got this from a subby um, about a fairy dance. And you can use that as a journaling card. But I thought that was perfect to go in there because she looks like she's doing a dance. And that's it. And that's the back of it. And so they've got the book, little book ends, being an older book that helps with that. So it's not too chunky, enough room to put your own bits and pieces and it's got the sari silk rather than doing a hinge post. I thought that nah, needed, needed just a tie um, in there. Makes it easier to post as well so it doesn't, it's not as bulky. So there you go. So that will be available on my Etsy store. I'm really, really happy and had a lot of fun at how this turned out and had a lot of fun making it and I just because I just love doing um fairies and gnomes and all that and mushrooms like sort of nature themed journal and this cover is just divine so that'll be on my Etsy store and I will catch you um in the next video thanks for watching guys bye